You know us for making steel and we do make steel. But what is the vision that drives the bigger picture? Tata Group, we've always been proud of our values. We talk of unity, we talk of responsibility, we talk of excellence and we talk of integrity. But there's one value, the fifth one, uh, which is pioneering. So that's where we need to find that balance between uh, being agile and being resilient. Let me go back a little bit. So we are a company in preparation for a very long time. And uh, we first did the theory of constraints, where basically you say exploit, that means whatever you have, make the most of it. Then the next level is uh, elevate, that means you find extra capacity where you thought it was not there. And then you said expand, that means you go into new areas of thought, etc. So that has been a driving source for new ideas and uh, smaller process innovations in our entire process line. The idea is that across Tata Steel, uh, we want to make this company in the future a pioneer in digital steel making. Where everyone thinks that yes, I can make a difference. So there's a whole lot of ownership about it. People think that, yes, this organization is mine, this idea is mine, but yes, everyone is behind it. So that kind of an ownership is the one, you know, where I think the, the uh, culture of innovation exists. And that is exactly what happens in Tata Steel. How does a hundred year young organization stay ahead of the times? Innovation is achieving the impossible. And it is not just about that final goalpost which you reach, it is also about the journey you take. This time Tata Steel has taken a step by actually setting up a new vertical and being bold enough to say that this is beyond steel. So um, I think we are taking a leadership position in, in innovation, both from, from our internal drive perspective and also from the perspective of the, of, of the stakeholders. Uh, we have focused on today two materials. Uh, composites, mainly fiber reinforced polymer composites and advanced ceramics, which we are keeping for the future. Customers today are looking for convenience and there is a premium on convenience. They want problems to be solved and we are not enough by just supplying them products. What are the stepping stones on the path to progress? Sustainability is uh, in some sense a very important part of our purpose statement. It was a very important part of our purpose statement 100 years back and it's very necessary for us to look at it and see what it means today. And that's where innovation and technology comes in. So Tata Steel has always been keen on innovation. And in Tata Steel, we have this culture that allows us to be innovative during the process and at the end of it. With full steam ahead, what are we hoping to achieve? The diversity that we have, diversity of people, diversity of geographies, diversity of uh, industry within Tata Steel, I think all put together provides a lot of opportunity uh, to all of us in terms of making a change, making a difference and making sure that Tata Steel becomes sustainable. When you talk about mobilization, there are, there are two ends to the spectrum. One is young blood, a lot of energy, a lot of new learning, ability to learn, eagerness to learn, that is one aspect, with the raw energy that comes in. The other aspect is the experience and that is very, very important. So what we have to do, we have to blend this two. We will have to uh, define the tomorrow. And the tomorrow of Tata Steel will not consist only of plants and equipments. It will consist of various solution providers who will be there uh, in the country around. And researchers are not afraid to take up projects where they may fail. Well, uh, to me, uh, we are here today because our predecessors created a tomorrow. We are committed to finding solutions for a better future, to give progress a new meaning. Tomorrow has never been closer. Tata Steel. We also make tomorrow.